What's going on guys? Orms Form coming at you guys again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about another player analysis. This is my NFL draft player analysis for the Detroit Lions. This is my number 12th video for this, and this is for subscriber Andy Mack. Thanks, brother. Thanks for the, um, the request for putting it on my community tab. Um, and it's tight end Zach Kuntz. Uh, the big fellow from Old Dominion, the Old Dominion Monarchs. You know, um, a different tight end. Um, well, I don't really want to say a different tight end, but more of a receiving kind of tight end. But let's get down to some numbers. Six foot eight, two hundred and about fifty pounds, two forty five. First started off um, his collegiate career as a Penn State Nittany Lion from two thousand eighteen to two thousand twenty. Then he moved on went to the transfer portal in uh, two. Um, in uh, 2021, we went to Old Dominion. He was an Old Dominion Monarch in the Big Ten, Conference USA, the Sun Belt, all that. So 23 years old, going to be 24 in June. Um, so let's get down to some numbers. Not not the greatest numbers. Oops, sorry about that, Hulk. Sorry about that, Amon Ra. And then uh, five years of stats. You know, 88 catches, 862 yards. 9.8 yards per reception and only seven touchdowns. That's in a five-year uh, uh, span there. Big year in 2021 on Old Dominion. 73 catches, 692 yards, 9.5 yards per reception, and five touchdowns. His his first three years, his first three, three four years, whatever, three years at Penn State, he caught like maybe three, four balls. Um, he's missed some time, you know, didn't get on the field much. Uh, but he's got some strengths, got some positives. You know, you can't went went and tried and looked at some old old footage of him at Penn State. Couldn't really find any. Not not even gonna be. Uh, I'm not even gonna beat around the bush on that one. Couldn't find Jack on him as a Penn State as a Penn State Nittany Lion. So he had that decent year, that good year in um, an Old Dominion. So that was probably the easier um, uh, footage to find. So, he's a monster of a kid, you know, being at 6'8", 250 pounds, big frame, big upside, good athlete, he ran track in high school, hurdles, played basketball, went and, went, and then went to college to concentrate more on football, you know, he can get up the seam, you know, he can get vertical on you, he's got, he's, he's got a really nice acceleration off, off the line of scrimmage, off the LOS, you know, he's flexible with, with pretty good ball skills. Nice long speed comes from his track background, and uh, decent route runner too as well. A, a pretty good route runner, very agile. You know, um, f he'll find spots in, in in zone coverages. You know, and sit there makes a big target for the quarterback, creates some openings. Um, a red zone threat again, being the big guy, capable blocker, but not a very good blocker. We'll talk about that a little bit, but he but he will he will try. But he's not a good one though. But you know his catch radius is absolutely massive, being six foot eight, and he had a great combine. He ran like a four five, four point five five or something like that. Uh, had the had the biggest vertical for one of the tallest guys in the combine in the history of the combine. I think he beat that record. Yeah, he, so he had a really nice vertical basketball background. You know, so he's got some strengths. He's got some positives. He's got some weaknesses and got some negatives too as well to his game. So. Built like a basketball player, he's got like he's got some he's got a build on him. He's got a good solid frame on him, but it's like a skinny build. It's like a skinny build. He's a thin dude, you know, but he's long, skinny legs. He needs to really, I think, get in the gym. He needs to concentrate a little bit more on his contested catches. Loses focus at times. He needs to get bigger, obviously. And then, um, you know, when he's out there blocking, he's all he's all he's like that old school kind of blocker. It was kind of. When you watch him block, when you watch him block, and he's not really going to be, I don't think, a blocker at the next level. But you watch him block, he's all he's he's using like his like it's almost like he's using his wrists and his forearms. You know, occasional throw throws a shoulder in there too, but it's just it's not his game. So he'll hit he he'll try, but it's just not his style. It's just not his game. You know, and then um stiff lower half, I think. At times, and then too many concentration drops, in my opinion, through um, 
his collegiate career, well, he had that big year in 2021, then he had a significant drop-off in 2022, and then he got hurt. He got hurt in, I think, um, one of those years in season ending. But he, he's he's been hurt. He hasn't has a lot of experience um, at that collegiate level as a tight end. Had to get out of Penn State to, just to get some playing time, pretty much um, at Old Dominion. So into the transfer portal, that's what happens, right? So bottom line, my overview of this kid is that he's he's going to be a receiving tight end. He's going to be a guy, you know, that's going to probably be a red zone threat. He plays like a wide receiver, though. You know, he's not very, like, I don't want to say he's, he's just not very physical for that tight end. He's, he's, he's strictly going to be a receiving tight end. Not powerful, but he has some good speed. Needs to grow. Needs to get a little bit bigger in the gym, especially in, in his lower his lower half. Um, his legs are very skinny, and he's just not very experienced. Like you know, twenty one games he's played in five years. That's a that's a really bad bad ratio. Um, that's <laughs> that's that's four eight twelve. Six, that, that's not even that's barely over four games a season as an experience. You know, so he's gonna he's so he's gonna be a project. He's he's a raw raw kid. Um, he just you know, big year coming in 2021. Like I said, so it's 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 gonna take some time for this kid. I personally think he's a six round pick. Maybe he could even go undrafted. This is a kid that could go undrafted. He's got those measurables though that GMs coaches that they drool over. So you could see a guy like this maybe get drafted in the sixth round. I don't think he's going to go anywhere be before that. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Not that he's a bad football player. I just think he's extremely raw. Extremely raw. Didn't get enough playing time at Penn State. Banged up a little bit. Went to went to a smaller school at Old Dominion. And uh, he did have a good good year in 2021. So there is there is some tape out there of him. Um, combine, you know, he, he, was, he did really well at the Combine too at the Underwear Olympics. And a, a, a lot of people hold hold water on that. So uh, he could be a guy that could get drafted in the sixth round. Now, if he goes before that, I'll be shocked. Just my opinion. Just my opinion on the kid. Not a bad football player, but I, I see him as a sixth round pick, maybe even sixth, seventh UDFA. That's how I see him. But he'll probably get drafted in the sixth. So, you know, um, if he gets goes before that, Godspeed, man. Good luck to the kid because, you know, they're drafting pretty much on um, raw ability and um, future. So that so he's not a bad football player. That's my first tight end that I've done. Um, I don't mind doing tight ends. I like I like doing all all positions, but tight ends is this was an interesting one. Zach Koontz, he was one of those combine warriors, and uh, had that nice year at Old Dominion. So Zach Koontz, man, from Old Dominion Monarchs. I uh, hope you guys like it. I hope you guys uh, appreciate the video. Thanks for coming in and watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right. Don't forget to hit the notification bell on all my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, share this out. You think the Lions will be looking at a late round tight end? Could Zach Koontz be wearing the Honolulu blue and silver? Thanks a lot, guys. One pride. Go Lions. Kaboom. Let's go, baby. Whoop.